Okay, this video tutorial looks at the mathematical strand of linear and nonlinear relationships. And more specifically, we're going to focus our understanding on the difference and similarities between perpendicular and parallel lines. So the key thing that we're looking for when we're dealing with parallel or perpendicular lines has everything to do with their gradient or the slope. All right, so parallel lines, it's important to remember, have the same slope. And there's an example on the screen where we've got one equation, which is y equals 2x plus 2, okay, and that's in our green line. And the other equation of y equals 2x take 4, which is in our red line, they both have a gradient of 2. And as you can see from the picture, they're both running parallel. Now, perpendicular lines, on the other hand, um, don't have the same gradient. In fact, it's important to note that the gradients are actually the negative reciprocals of each other. Now, um, some of you may have forgotten what a reciprocal is. Okay, a reciprocal is just flipping a fraction. Okay, so for example, uh, the reciprocal of 2 over 1 is 1 over 2. That's the reciprocal. But perpendicular lines actually have a negative reciprocal as their slope. All right, so you can see with our examples, we've got y equals negative 2x plus 3, which we have in red. All right, and we have y equals a half x take 1, which we have in green. Now, in the red line or the red equation, we've got a gradient of negative 2 over 1. In the green equation, we have a gradient of 1 over 2. So you can see that the fraction's been flipped and the negative has either been added or taken away. In this particular case, it's been taken away. Um, one way to remember how the negative reciprocal rule is that if you multiply both of the gradients of the lines and your product is minus 1, then those two lines are going to be perpendicular. So in our example, if we've got negative 2 over 1 and we multiply it by 1 over 2, this simply gives us negative 2 over 2, which gives us an answer of minus 1. So if your answer is minus 1 when you multiply both gradients, then you know they're perpendicular and you know that they are the negative reciprocals of each other. Okay, so how do we calculate the gradient between two points? Well, this is kind of a bit of a refresher um, where we're going to use the gradient formula here all right, of y2 take y1 over x2 take x1. Um, and we're going to use the points A and B. Now the point A is negative 2, negative 2. And the point B, so A is negative 2, negative 2. And B is 2, 6. So the gradient is going to be y2 take y1 over x2 take x1. It's really important to label these. x1, y1, x2, y2. So we end up with 6, take away negative 2 over 2, take away negative 2, which equals 8 over 4, which equals 2. All right, so that's how we work out the gradient of two points. So let's look at an example question where we need to find the gradient between uh, the line AB and the gradient of CD and determine if they are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So the first thing we want to do is the gradient of AB. So A is the point 4, 8, and B is the point negative 4, 2. So I've got my x1, y1, x2, y2 values here. The gradient of AB is going to be y2 take y1, so 2 take 8, over negative 4 take 4, which is actually negative 6 over negative 8, which is 3 quarters. I'm going to do the exact same thing for C and D. Now my C value is 6 minus 3, and my D value is 9 minus 7. So the CD gradient is Y2 take Y1, which is negative 7, take negative 3, over 9 take 6. That becomes negative 7 plus 3, which is negative 4. 9 take 6 is 3. And we can see that we've got a gradient of 3 quarters and a gradient of minus 4 over 3, Therefore, they must be perpendicular because one of them is a negative reciprocal of the other. 
Okay, so here are some practice questions where you're given uh, coordinates for A, B, and C and D, and you need to work out the gradients between them to determine if they are parallel or perpendicular, giving reasons. Uh, please feel free to pause the video. Once you think you've got the correct answer, continue the video, and we'll see how you went. Okay, so let's see how you went. Uh, in our first question, uh, I'm gonna label my uh, coordinates, X1 and Y1 and x2 and y2, because I need to work out the gradient of a, b. Then I'm going to do the same thing for my c and my d. Oops, I'll make that y1. So a, b, the gradient was y2, which is 2, take y1, which is 6, over 1, take 3, which gave me negative 4, over negative 2, which gave me a gradient of 2. My gradient for CD was Y2, which is 0, take away minus 4 over 0, take away minus 2, which becomes 0 plus 4 over 0 plus 2, which gives me 4 over 2, which gives me a gradient of 2. So you can see we have the same gradient, therefore these lines are parallel. Same gradient. Let's have a look at uh, question 2. We've got x1, y1, x2, y2, x1, y1, x2, y2, because I need to work out by gradients. So I've got a, b, I've got negative 2, take 3, over 4, take 2, which gives me negative 5 over 2. And I've got c, d, which is 3, take 1, over 2, take minus 3, which is 3 take 1 over 2 plus 3, which is 2 over 5. And you can see that negative 5 over 2 and positive 2 over 5 are the negative reciprocals of each other. So therefore, this is perpendicular. And the reason would be the negative reciprocals.